for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the Etude House Colorful Drawing Spring Collection. Now, I am definitely a little bit late on this collection, but I asked you guys on my Instagram if you guys wanted me to still do a video on this collection, and you guys astoundedly voted yes. There was like no debate about it. So now I'm going to finally be talking about the products. And I guess it's kind of good because instead of this being a first impressions, I can kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts after using them for a little bit. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. By the way, I forgot to mention, I am actually in New York attending BeautyCon and naturally I am going to be hanging out in the K-Town section of the beauty con <laughs> they have a little section of the map that's going to be dedicated to korean beauty i'm going to be hanging out there both days from 2 to 4 p.m so you'll probably see me floating around in between the booths over there i'm not really sure exactly where i'm going to be but definitely check my social media i'll keep you guys updated on where my location is <laughs> but i really hope to see you guys there and if you have the chance Please stop by, come take pictures, give me some hugs, let's chat about Korean beauty or let's chat about anything you want to talk about. And yeah, so I will be at BeautyCon New York. It's my first BeautyCon New York. How crazy is that? Alrighty, let's see. Where to start? I have my handy dandy box lid. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go ahead and start off with uh, the set that came with this collection. So this is the colorful drawing launching kit. I bought this because it is cheaper than buying all of these products individually, so I figured since I was going to be buying most of the products from the collection, I should probably just try and save as much money as possible. In this kit, you get one of the two eyeshadow palettes. This one in particular is the Magenta Drawing Palette. You also get a watercolor blusher in Bouquet Rose, and also a Dear My Blooming Lips Talk in the shade sentimental pink. So that's what the kit looks like and so I can kind of keep the products sorted. I'm just going to go ahead and talk about each of the products in their categories. So that's what the kit looks like. Let's go ahead and start off with the two eyeshadow palettes. So I did, did get both. Like I just mentioned, I did get the magenta drawing and also their vermilion drawing. So looking at the palette side by side, you can see that the magenta drawing one is a little bit more on the brown neutral side. This one has a little bit more of a pop of coral to the colors. Now while I'm talking about the palettes, I'm gonna go ahead and run the footage of me applying the magenta drawing eyeshadow palette to my lids, which is the look I'm wearing right now in case you're curious. But overall, I feel like these eyeshadows are, you know, they're typical Tude House eyeshadows. I find that the shimmery colors are best applied when I'm using the little applicators that come with the palette surprisingly. Usually I just throw these away, but I find to get the most pigmented type of look with the shimmers in particular. Now of course that's gonna be a personal preference type of thing, whether you prefer a wash of color or you like something more pigmented. I personally like something more pigmented, so these shadows were okay in my opinion. And as far as the mattes in the palettes goes, they're actually pretty nice. I find that they do show up. Sometimes they're a little bit patchier, but sometimes it's just harder to find nice matte Korean shadows so having said that I don't think that these are terrible. I will say this and I feel like I'm going to repeat this statement again throughout this video. I feel like a lot of these colors and the formulations are very recycled from Etude House and now you guys know I'm a big fan of Etude House. I have been basically buying all of their collections for the past couple of years so I feel like I've seen these palettes before. Uh, let's see if I have any. Blech. <laughs> I found one. I know I've had more of these palettes in the past. This one just in particular is the Fantastic Color Eyes Rose Garden. So this one is a couple years old. I kind of just hold on to it for the sake of being able to compare it to Etude House's new shadows. But as you can see, this literally <laughs> almost matches the Vermilion drawing. Can you see how similar those shadows are? So I'm not saying anything against the shadows themselves or the palettes or anything like that, but if you have purchased products from Etude House in the past, unless you're buying them for the limited edition factor or the packaging, I've seen these palettes before from Etude House, and this is just one I could find, I'm sure. If I kept more over the years, I would see more similarities. By the way, I know you're probably super bummed out that I did not do a look in this video specifically for the Vermilion Drawing Palette, but I did do a post on my website. 
which has been <laughs> relaunched, revamped. I'm still working on it, but it's looking a lot better than it was. So I'm gonna do a blog post on the products where I'll show you guys close-ups as well as a look I created with this palette. So I'll link that down below in case you guys want to check that out. So next, I'm gonna be talking about the Super Slim Proof Pencil Liner, and I have magenta red. I did not get the Choco Brown because I have enough brown eyeliners. And this one was something that I felt like I did not have a shade like it. I do have it on my eyes. Whoa, right now. <laughs> if you guys can see that kind of line above my black liner, that's this right here. Now this is something that Etude House has essentially relaunched for this collection because the Super Slim Pencil, no, Super Slim Proof Gel Pencil Liners. They've had these in the past, but these are just kind of limited edition colors as well as obviously the packaging. For me personally, I have had very good experience using these and the other ones I've tried. I like that they are that super slim tip because I can kind of detail work my eyeshadows and eyeliners. These are nice that they're long lasting. Etude House has also come out with some other cool colors. So besides this magenta red, I have seen them come out with cool colors. So in general, I like these. I'm glad that they had a couple of these come out with the collection. And yeah, so that one was actually a purchase I was pretty happy about. So let's talk about these, because these were probably the product I was most excited about when it came to this collection, because I haven't really seen Etude House do a product like this, and that is the watercolor blushers. So I ended up getting all five of these from the collection. They range from oranges to plums to corals to pinks, and overall, I we have to say they definitely live up to their name. They have a very watery consistency and for my personal take, I do find them a little bit difficult to work with since they are such a watery consistency. If I had a lot of foundation or powder underneath them, I find that they kind of break down that foundation and move it around. So the best way I found to apply these is using an air puff. You guys know I love air puffs. They're just easiest to blend, they absorb the excess product that you don't want to apply on your skin, but just going through them very quickly to show you guys what they look like on the back of my hand. So there's that bouquet rose, which is the first color applied on my cheeks, and you can see the consistency. It's not super liquidy, but it's definitely more watery than most blushes I'm used to. And they're definitely like a very light wash of color. For me and my skin tone, a lot of these probably won't show up um, if I apply them lightly. I kind of have to layer them on for them to show up on my skin. Moving on to Daisy Coral. Let's go ahead and... You can see this is a nice terracotta-y peach color. Has a little bit of warmth to it, which is very nice and natural. Again, as you can see, it's a very sheer wash of color. Next, we have Balsam Flower Red. This one it definitely shows up on my skin tone as you're about to see because it's a very vibrant red color. This one you almost have to apply a little bit more sparingly. Let's do the Baby's Breath Pink. This one again, the pinks are just very light. Out of the pinks, out of the Bouquet Rose, and this one, this one's definitely way lighter because as you can see, can't even really see it on the back of my hand there. And then finally we have Lilac Lavender which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and it's a beautiful mauve plum color. You can see that. It's a very unique shade and for me personally, I really love these kind of lavendery toned blushers. I just think there's something very nice about that on my skin tone. So overall, if your main concern is these showing up on your skin, I would definitely recommend the Balsam Flower Red as well as the Lilac Lavender. I would say those two are the most pigmented and then going from lightest to darkest, the Baby's Breath Pink is definitely the lightest, and then the Daisy Coral as well as the Bouquet Rose, they're both kind of the same as far as pigmentation goes or as darkness goes, but you know, this one's just coral and this one's just pink. I'm definitely glad I picked these up because now that summer is rolling around and it's getting warmer, I'm probably gonna be wearing a lot less face makeup, so these might be nice to just give my cheeks a nice glow, some wash of color, but have it look very natural. And yeah, so those are the watercolor blushers. Moving on to the bulk of the collection, which is the lip products. And I'm gonna first talk about the Dear My Blooming Lips Talk lipsticks. Out of the 10 they have for the collection, I did pick up six. And the reason that I didn't pick up all 10 was, again, it's kind of the same thing with the eyeliner. I just have too much makeup that I didn't feel the need to buy all 10. And a lot of the colors, 
again, kind of same through the eyeshadows. I feel like I've seen them before. So I kind of just picked them up to check out the formula and also experiment with the different undertones as far as like oranges, reds, the pinks, beiges go. So I felt like I kind of got a good spread of colors just by getting the six of them. Now while I'm talking about these lipsticks, again, I'm gonna go have the B-roll of me swatching these on my lips. Go ahead and play so we kind of knock a bird out, knock two birds out with one stone, knock a bird, knock two birds out with one stone, yeah. Hola! <laughs> You shy. So first things first, let me go ahead and read you what the description of these are on the Etude House website. These are supposed to be a creamy chiffon texture, smooth and soft lip color. The first thing that I noticed when I was trying these out was actually that these were not very soft. These were a bit of a harder texture than I'm used to Etude House lip products being. And let me say this first off, I do love Etude House lip products. I think they do an excellent job. I always love their shade ranges. I think they experiment with textures and finishes and colors, so I really appreciate that. But I felt like these were kind of lacking for this being the biggest bulk of the collection. Having said that, again, I don't think that they're necessarily terrible but I just wasn't impressed by the actual softness of these lipsticks. As I had been using these lipsticks, another thing that I noticed is that these are a very buildable type of lipstick. So you can actually achieve a more sheer look with these lipsticks, but you can also kind of layer them on and build them up. So depending on your personal preference, you can definitely wear these a bit more sheer or you can wear these with full pigmentation. The colors themselves were very nice. Again, I've probably said this a thousand times at this point. I feel like I've seen some of these colors before, but these were definitely kind of more on the neon side, and I think they really tried to do that with this spring collection, because you know, whenever the warmer months kind of roll around, the neons get more popular, the bright lip colors get a lot more popular. So these are kind of excellent for those of you guys who might be looking to pick up some fun, bright, vibrant lipstick colors for the warmer months. Last but not least, I'm gonna be covering the two Dear Darling Tits, tits? <laughs> Dear Darling Tints. So they launched two unique shades for this collection. I believe these are unique. I could be wrong, because again, they look familiar. They launched a bright coral orange color as well as this bright red pinkish color, which is actually what I've been wearing on my lips throughout this video. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about these lip tints, because to be completely honest, I'm not normally a big fan of tints. I usually gravitate more towards like lipsticks and lip glosses and lip balms because they're just easier for me to work with. But I wanted to pick them up so I could swatch them for you guys and show you what they look like. And they are a little bit of a thicker formula than most like watery lip tints you'll find for Korean beauty companies. Um, but they are still the same Dear Darling tint formula that you're gonna see with other Etude House lines and their normal collection, all that kind of stuff. Like I mentioned, those were the last products I picked up from this collection. They do have like a hand wash or soap and lotion and a brush set that is associated with this collection, but I just, I didn't really find a need for that. And yeah, so I just picked up the makeup products. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm a little late on it, but like I said, at least I could kind of try the products out and tell you guys my experience using them. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have tried anything from this collection or you guys have some upcoming collections you guys want me to check out because I'm always on the hunt for some new and fun Korean beauty and beauty in general. On top of that, I will leave the links in the description box below where I pick these products up. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.